What's up, Peak Timers? Let's open up the new Porsche 2 Pack Elite 64 BMW RLC Impala Lowrider, a Hot Wheels Lamborghini Revelto Boulevard number 100, and our first two 2025 Super Treasure Hunts. And we'll start it off with the Porsche 2 Pack, brand new, and the return of the 993 GT2, and we've got the GT4 Cayman there as well. Let's go ahead and open this pack up, but first, look at the back. You can see all the other two packs included. They got the Nissan one with the Datsun, and then the Audi one as well, but the Porsche one's the best one. I've got that here in hand, so let's go ahead and open it. And here is our yellow 911 993 GT2. If you guys know, you know this was released as a Boulevard uh, several years back, and I don't have that one myself. I'd like to get my hands on it, but this one is still very, very good. The main difference with this one is the wheels are different compared to the original one, but the color itself, the casting itself is just absolutely gorgeous. I love this car. The mid 90s 993 generation Porsches are just one of my favorites. They just look so cool. And with this wing and the yellow color, yellow being my favorite color, I love this car and I could not wait to get my hands on this two pack. We got the silver base on the bottom right there as well. Just a gorgeous, gorgeous looking Porsche. And the next one that we have in this pack, we've got the Cayman GT4 right here. And this one's in that kind of like like grayish color, very, very high gloss. We've got the imitation carbon fiber front end right there with the engine in the back. We've got the spoiler back there, the rear diffuser on this one looking really good. Let's grab that 993 right there and just check those two out from this two pack. No denying, this has gotta be one of the best Hot Wheels two packs premiums ever released two fantastic looking cars they've done it right with this one hot wheels elite 64 1990 bmw 318i touring right here this one's got some removable pieces on there you'll get to see in a second there's some of the details on the back end if you want to pause the video you can read through all of that if you care but I'm just excited to open this one up and get a close look at it. It is listed also interestingly as car number eight in the lineup of Elite 64, even though we've already gotten nine, 10 and 11, I think already, but they've got the numbers all mixed up in the way that they released them, but that's okay. We've got the car itself finally in hand and check it out right there. Wow, these wheels, I think they suit the car very, very nicely. Just check out all the details as far as the paint goes, that front end looking fantastic. Got that BMW coloring on the side. Even got the little sunroof that is popped open right there. That is super nice. That's a cool detail I have not seen, I don't think ever on a one in 64 scale car. We got the back end with that detail. But what you guys wanna know is what opens up and we've got this hood piece right here which comes completely off right there. So that's that's not broken. That's how it's supposed to come. It comes completely off. And then check out the engine detail on that. Wow, look at all the color on there. Look at that, that stabilization bar that's across in the color, the blue in there. Just such a cool way to have this car displayed. You can have that hood sitting there kind of like in front of it right there displayed just a really really neat one and some of the elite 64 cars didn't have any removable pieces or moving parts or anything like that and that's kind of disappointing i really like how they've come back now with this bmw with that removable front hood and just a fantastic looking color i'm very very impressed with it look at that exhaust detail on the bottom as well just another great hot wheels elite 64 I absolutely love the elite 64 line if you look at my back camera right here in my wall you can see the elite 64 line all right across there so it is there in the back end well this one's going to be added up there but now we're going to have to start creating a new row for the new elite 64 cars a lamborghini countach lpi 800-4 car number 100 from the hot wheels boulevard series and they've gone well past 100 now but for the 100th car they've done a great looking one love the color on this one let's open this one up and we can get a close up look at it. This is being released before in white. Then we have a chase version. We have a, I think, do we have another color as well somewhere in there? But 
This one in this teal metallic blue. Wow, that is a really, really nice color for this one. And I have not seen this specific color on a Hot Wheels before. I think it looks really nice. The wheels, I love the wheels, but I have to say, I don't love the color of these wheels. I don't, I don't know, I'm not too sure. Not really my thing as far as the color. They're kind of like an, an off bronze color, but they're not like chromed or anything like that. But the style of the wheels, you guys know I love this wheel. This wheel is one of my favorite wheels that Hot Wheels has, but just really, I wish they had like, I mean, a white or a black, I think would have looked good even in silver, but this kind of weird color, it's not that great, but it's overshined by the color of the actual car. The teal blue color, it looks fantastic. And I think they've done a great job and it's a great choice for the 100th Hot Wheels Boulevard series car. Hot Wheels RLC Impala SS 1964. Brand new one. Let's go ahead and pop this one open and get a close look at it. And look at that box for it right here. Look at all the, the palm trees and everything on there. Redline Club, really, really nice presentation for this box. And then we slide it on open and there we have our car. What does this even say right here? Peel this off right here. Oh, I know what this is. I know what this is. So we'll put that aside for a second. I'll show you what that piece is in a sec, but We'll take that off right there and we'll take the car out. Wow, look at it just sit in there. Just a beautiful package right here. The color on this, wow, this looks amazing, this color. I know, I feel like I'm repeating myself as far as being shocked, but these cars today have been just perfect looking and check it out. Just an impeccable paint job on this one. The low rider, we've got the nice wire gold wheels right there. Look at how low it is from the back end, you can just see. And obviously the special thing about this car, the super unique thing about this car is that it is a true low rider. So we have the axles, the, the hydraulics that come out. So you can have those come out, they twist, they turn, they do all different types of weird things. So you can twist these ones right here. You can twist these ones a little bit right here. They're a little bit stiff at first, but those ones do twist a little bit, but check that out just sitting like that displaying it like that would look so cool and they've given you something to help make it look cool to display they've given you this mirror so we can peel this piece off right here we will do that and then we can have our low rider just kind of sit on there i'll try to hold it and not drop it rather than putting it on the ground but check it out you can have it display on there you can have it the hydraulics go down you can have it sitting kind of right on the ground just like that look at that Look at that with the mirror and everything looking so, so cool. And actually I'll grab one of the other color variations that I have of this one. So here's our pr previous release one right here. So same type of thing, both low riders, both great looking paint jobs. I think there's one more color of this too that I don't have. Maybe it's a previous one. I can't remember the exact color, but both of these ones have those hydraulic axles that come up. Just a great, great casting. There's another car as well. I think it's a Monte Carlo that uh, Hot Wheels has. That is a low editor. That one's coming out here soon or, or just released, but just two really, really cool looking cars. I can't wait to display these ones on the back wall with all the other Hot Wheels RLCs. Just a really nice casting. A Lamborghini Revolto Hot Wheels RC edition. I had no idea this existed until I saw it in a Target and this one you can charge up with USB and then you can use it on a remote control. We're gonna open it up and get a close up look at this one. I haven't opened up one of these for several years now. I've got a few different other models of Hot Wheels RCs, but let's open this. And here is our Lamborghini Revolto Hot Wheels right there. It's actually got some pretty good detail on the front end with those front lights right there. It is fully plastic and it's very, very light feeling. So it's uh, definitely got no metal plastic all around and you can see the body underneath. You can take it apart with these screws if you really wanted to, but it's got the RC engine on the inside. And then if we look down below, so we can see there is a proprietary charger right here so we have to charge it up so that will plug into the bottom right there and then it is usb a kind of outdated i wish they had usb c but that's okay and then there is a little on off switch right here and it's 2.4 gigahertz connection on there so pretty neat but i mean you look at all around it's it's a pretty good looking car and i'm gonna have to assume that 
probably next year they're gonna come out with the Lamborghini Revato and the Hot Wheels main lines because this one's still pretty expensive. This is 25 US dollars for this RC Lamborghini Revato, but that's okay. Here's the controller for it. So we've got left, right, up, down, or I, I don't even know, but we got a little button up here, take some batteries, but with the power of the internet, I'm gonna go ahead, charge this up, put some batteries in the remote controller, and then we'll play with it. And here we have the Lamborghini Revalto all charged up. We've got the remote with batteries in it, it takes two AAA batteries in a remote, and then it takes about, probably you charge it for about two hours or so. And it's quite unique, something interesting. I was playing around with this in my kitchen. Here's some video I overlaid of it moving around and all that. So it looks pretty cool when it drives around. You can do donuts with it. You can do all different types of drifts and it's pretty fast as well. Something interesting I noticed about it afterwards is if we look at how the like steering goes on it. So the front wheel tire combination, they don't turn, but the back of it, you can see, so we can see with the remote right here, that side turns, that side turns. And then we look at this side right here and this side, you can see it's got like forward and backwards. You can go with each wheel and tire. So you can see this one turns and that one won't. And then this one turns and that one won't. And then it's got this little button right here, which you can just kind of like super power. This is like a turbocharger button on the top right here. So interesting controls for it, for being a one in 64 little RC car, it actually does quite a bit and it's actually quite entertaining to play with. So super, super fun. I really enjoy this car and I love the Lamborghini Revelto. I think it's a great looking Lamborghini and I think it looks way nicer than the Lamborghini Temerario, whatever it's called, the new V8 hybrid Lamborghini. This is just the pure V12 with the hybrid, it looks so much better. But let me know what you guys think of this Hot Wheels RC Lamborghini Revelto 2025 Super Treasure Hunts. We've got the first two for 2025. We'll first look at this one right here, which is the 87 Audi Sport Quattro. We've got it in this nice green color to it. Love the white wheels on here. We can see the TH logo just right there on the front. We've got some of the Audi logo blended into the side as well. Hot Wheels logo on the rear end right there. And then we can see the details on the back. It's nice Spectra Flame paint job on there. For me, myself, I kind of think it's a little bit of a boring start for the 2025 Super Treasure Hunts. You know what? But last year, they started with the Ford Escort, which I also thought was boring. And then 2024 ended up being a great year of Super Treasure Hunts. But this one, it's not really my style of car. I mean, a lot of people do like it, so give them credit for that. It is half decent of a car for them. But for me, not really my thing. But the next one, this one is my thing right here. Let's go ahead and pop this one open and look at the color on that one right there. So this one, we look on the bottom right here and this one is all white. This is the Hero Hada Merc right there. The TH logo on the side right there. Look at the wheels, look at these wheels. We've never seen these wheels before. Those are special for this car. Just looking so, so good. The color they've done, just a fantastic job on this purple. I think it looks so good. Love the white mixed in with that silver, the striping of that flame that goes down the side. Just looking so great. And this one, definitely already just our second super treasure hunt of the year. I have to say, it's definitely gonna be a highlight for 2025 as far as a super treasure hunt goes. They've done it right for the second one for sure. And the third one, we do know what it is. It is a fantasy car. You're gonna have to stay tuned for that one. I'll get that one in the future as well. But the Hirohato Merc, I think is gotta be one of the best ones for 2025. Definitely is the best one so far. We'll have to see what they come up with. Hopefully we get a Bugatti, a McLaren. You guys know I've been asking for a super treasure hunt Bugatti or McLaren. So maybe we'll get one in 2025, but let me know what you guys think of the first two super treasure hunts for 2025. And there is all of the cars that we opened up today. What an amazing lineup of new Hot Wheels. I'm so excited to see the future of Hot Wheels and all the cool new castings that are going to be released. Let me know in the comments down below which one of these ones was your favorite.